changed out of my yeah. out of my outfit. Yeah, you know, I retired 31 years as a mailman. If they would let me do that on the job, I'd be locked up by now. That's for all. That's for all your uh, all your people that don't have their four-digit extension. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that's for sure. I know you did this before. What got you back into it? Uh, it was a it was a successful fundraiser for the athletic boosters last year. They uh, they netted six thousand dollars in profit. So uh, they asked if we would consider doing it again because it's a it's it's a really a a low maintenance um, fundraiser for them where they really don't have to do anything except sell tickets at the door and sell concessions. So uh, easy way to bring in money for the athletic department, which goes back to the kids and allows us to do things like you know not have pay to participate fees and things yeah. like that. That's great, especially moving into the new schools. You're going to be breaking ground on that pretty soon? Uh, yeah, we're supposed to have a groundbreaking ceremony on April 7th, uh, and then we'll get things moving along. We hope to uh, be pouring concrete at the latest by the beginning of May. That would be nice. That's, good. That's going to be a blast. I grew up in Chardon. And I, I played out here when I was in high school. Oh, we Berkshire and Chardon, we, you know, we played everything. And uh, it was it was good. You can't do it anymore because Chardon's got so much bigger. Right. This is going to be a big evening pro program for you guys moving into that new school. So congratulations. I'm hoping that a bunch of kids from Newberry show up. So Thank you. Come over. That'll be that'll, they'll be in a better situation here with you guys than they will in West Jog, I think. Yeah, they make the best decision for them, and that's, yeah. that's yeah. all we can ask. Road conditions during a snowstorm are extremely important to us because our families travel the roadways as well. We are thankful for your patience through the winter and ask that you slow down, turn on your headlights, and give way to our plows and all other emergency vehicles.